We're at Six Flags Great Adventure. It's Woo! busy. Woo! It's busy as f um, hello, hello. <laughs> We're with the homies. Hi. Guys, this is Wooden Warrior Girl. The person you see in the comments section every video, this is her. This is the real person. She's a real person. I bet a lot of you thought that we were living in a simulation and that she wasn't real. No, She's a real really. person. This is Kaden. Hi. He's like a coaster kid. And then we got Skylar. <laughs> Y'all probably remember Skylar. She was in like all the 2020, 2021 yeah, road trip real, vlogs, real, you know? Real, and same with Wooden Warrior Girl if you guys watch that. So yeah, it's it's another trip. We're doing a little spring break trip. This is a, was supposed to be our second park of the trip, but Six Flags New England uh, had a doo-doo fart moment. We basically drove all the way out there and they were just closed. I don't know why. I, they said it was for weather, but the weather was literally fine. Now we're excited today. This is gonna be the redemption because El Toro is finally back open. I haven't ridden this since 2020. I've ridden this twice in total in my whole life. I barely remember some of the airtime like feeling, so I'm really looking forward to riding this again. I mean, from what I remember, it's like just an absolutely insane ride. Guys, we're here. We're finally at a park. A zillion people. Oh, it's also busy as shit. Well, I already pointed that out, but it's busy. No, it's an hour up after opening, and there's a million more people than I've ever seen my entire life here. Apparently, this is like some of the busiest crowds they've ever seen. So, hey, shout out to Six Flags Great Adventure for implementing single rider lines. That is a major W right there. Like, without that, there's no way we'd be riding anything today, but we're going to make the best of it. I'm really excited to be back at this park. I went here before in 2020, two times actually, and both experiences were fun. I thought the ride line, it was amazing, but the park, not so much, but I'm still very excited and um, I'm looking forward to giving this park a fair shake again. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It's busy as fuck. Ah! It's Angel, guys. You've never, he's never been in one of my videos, but he's like the biggest Coaster Dash fan in the world, guys. For like, real, for real. He's, he's excited as fuck. So excited. I should really stop cussing in my videos because <laughs> I have to bleep out every swear word. It's a lot of effort, honestly, but guys, it's El Toro. It's actually open right now. I'm so excited. Like I said, I've only done this two times ever. It's two years ago. Like, I don't know what to expect. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so glad they got this open. Let's get on this, guys. I'm so stoked. We finally did it. Oh my gosh. That was, was so fing good. Oh my in god. Insane. Those first two hills, like I forgot what that felt like. Those first two hills, not much on the way up, but then on the way down, like oh my gosh, guys. Like the, the airtime on the way down is like ridiculous. Also, the line wasn't that bad, even though it is very busy. Now we will be back to do many more rides on that, but we do want to head to King to Ka and take advantage of that. That's actually been down for a little while and just reopened, so we definitely want to take advantage of that being open. Front row is the only way to go on Ka. I can't wait to do it again. It's actually one of my favorite coasters like ever. This park easily has one of my favorite top twos of all time. I absolutely love both Toro and Ka. Guys, I'm so excited to be back here. I just can't believe it's like, you know, finally here. I've been waiting to come back to this park for a long time. What do you think, by the way? Was it like fire? Or? It was fucking crazy. It You're was insane. It was insane. Oh! oh my fucking god! Oh, what? What? Dude, that was so close. What?
absolutely go. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh. Bro, <laughs> that was insane. Like, that was. <laughs> Oh my god, Kaden and I rode it in the front. I don't even know how to review that. I don't even know that how to review that. That was the best ride I've gotten on it, and I've been on this plenty of times in the front, and that was easily the best that ride I've had. reminded me why I rank that and tracks are so high. If you guys don't believe in the hype, do it in the front. I don't know how anyone could rank that lower than like their top 10. Like that is like fucking amazing. It's so underrated, like nobody talks about it. Nobody, 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 nobody. I was speechless on the brakes, dude. I'm never like that. Like, not even Toro. My reaction to Toro was good. It wasn't like this. Yeah. The tallest coaster in the world lives up to its fucking name. That's oh our god. My god. <laughs> All right, Toro warmed up. Toro was good. Yeah. I feel like we shouldn't be. Oh Look at the squad we got. Oh my gosh. You guys liked it? It was so good. It's definitely gotten better. The first ride, I loved it. Like, don't get me wrong, but the, it, it's it's flying now. Yeah, I, I mean, at that point, it's it's definitely as good as I was hoping for. It's it's a great ride, guys. It's like I don't know if it's top, quite top five though, because think about it. If it's top five, then it has to beat out Fury Three Two Five, which is my number five currently, and that's very very tight. It also have to beat Velocicoaster, which is like number six or something. That I'm not so sure about. I still have to put some thought into Toro versus Velocicoaster, but I don't think it's going lower than that. The biggest shock so far of the day, King to Ka was absolutely absolutely phenomenal. I know we haven't really reviewed much, to be honest. We've been here for a while. We haven't done Jersey Devil yet. We've only really done Toro, King to Ka. Bizarro. Yeah, it's very busy. Our, I'm sorry, Medusa has a very long wait and it normally yeah. never has a wait this long. Yeah, we were trying to do Medusa. It didn't really work out, so we're still working on it. But next up is going to be Jersey Devil. We're finally going to do it. We're just going to, you know, go for the line. It's going to be a bad line, but um, hey, at least there's cool shots to get, so it's going to make the vlog All better, right. I guess. So. Also a credit for him. Yeah, a new credit. I just got off of Jersey Devil. I had the chance to do it once in the very front, once in the very back. Talk about luck. Yeah, that was a fun ride. I, I I can't even lie. That was like better than I anticipated. That's a really fun coaster. Is it the worst RMC? Yeah, probably. But it's still pretty damn good. Like RMC just can't do any wrong. I, I liked it a lot, to be honest. A lot of airtime all over the place. It's just not very strong, but that doesn't mean it's not great. Yeah, I thought it was a really fun ride. Solid third place coaster in the park for me. I'd probably take it above Nitro, I think. What do you think? It was very, very good. I only got one ride and it was second to front, but it was still really fun. <laughs> this is like the shortest vlog of all time. I apologize. We only really vlogged three different attractions here because that's like all we did. I mean, we, we got re-rides, but we like- much at all. Yeah, we didn't ride much today. It was really just a fun day, a really fun chill out day. We were gonna do Nitro, but we're out of time. We were gonna do Medusa, we're out of time, but it's fine. Like none of, none of those are really like super major. Okay, genuinely the only like real reason I wanted to come to this park, A, credits, obviously. B, I've never ridden Jersey Devil. That was a pretty significant new credit. And then C, I needed to get back on El Toro and all three of those things were a success today. I didn't vlog Little Devil, but I did get the credit. So everything went according to plan. Oh, look, we have a fan, by the way. Hello. What'd Hello. you think of Jersey Devil? Yeah, that was amazing today. We both rode in the back and yeah. it was running terrific today. You want to plug like your social media? Go ahead and do that. Uh, my Instagram is Stellarism. It's great oh, seeing yeah. you. Yeah, it was a fun day. Really enjoyed the park better than my 2020 visits to be totally honest with you. Uh, I, I can definitely like recognize a lot of the park improvements. There's still things the park can work on, you know, as with every Six Flags park, but it was a fun day. I, I really appreciated all the improvements, all the upgrades and the ride lineup really is, is just outstanding. It's out of this world. They have one of the best top twos in the world, only probably behind like Cedar Point and King's Dominion if we're talking about America. I mean, Toro and King Dakar are both top 10 coasters for me at this point. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you soon. Bye guys. Peace. Guys, it's not over. We got in line for Nitro, a single rider line somehow. We're two trains away. Yeah, we skipped the entire line, so yeah. The vlog is not so short after all, guys. We had to be out within like 15 minutes and we, we had like time, like we were waiting to get picked up. We said, what the hell, let's like go. And we're here. We had a nice sunset. For sure. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be a great last ride, I'm excited.
little pop of air time, bro. Oh my god. Yo, we have to head out, bro. We have, we're getting picked up in like five minutes. <laughs> but we got on Nitro. Like, we did it. We got it. <laughs> this is the most anticlimactic vlog ending of all time. But Nitro was sick. All right, boys. Hope you actually enjoyed the finale of the vlog. That was it. That was the video. It was awesome. We did Nitro. Awesome. It was lit. We're, we're, we just like ran a marathon to, to do that thing. But it's a very successful day. We did everything we could have asked for. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you very soon. Bye, guys.